Hey guys, how you doing? VT Meister here. Hope all is well. Well, I'm pretty excited. Check it out. Done. Part 6 of the DIY ground mount grid tied solar array. Just about ready to do the victory dance here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's go ahead and check out the new array here. This is the first part I built here. These five panels. And this is the last five panels I just finished up today. Check out this line here. It is so straight. See that? I mean, that is straight. That is how you build solar right there, okay? Everything is, is perfect. Straight, looks good. It matches up with the other array really well. Very pleased with it. Let's check out the back. This is the new part here. Get my ground done. Everything's looking real nice and tucked away, just how I want it. I'm calling this the South Array. This is Grid Tide uh, Ground Mount South. And the one behind it is going to be called the uh, Ground Mount North Array. Right there. So we get North and South. That's how I'm going to differentiate between the two arrays and actually have it labeled that way in the sub panel. So this array should operate in sunny weather, you know, depending on the time of year, time of day. You know, on a good day, I'll be making four plus kilowatts on the ground here, 20 panels. And on the roof system up there, I have 17 panels, and that's a 4.2 uh, kilowatt on the AC side array. So together, we're just over nine kilowatts on the AC side on the output. People ask why you need so much power. Well. We got a lot of things going on here. Electric car, heat pumps, hot water heat pump. I got a, a mini split heat pump doing the living room and the whole downstairs. And then we have nearly every appliance is electric just because if we didn't use electric, we'd be leaving money on the table as far as the electric company because we sell power back to Green Mountain Power and we get on the gross side, we get six cents a kilowatt. So if I produce a thousand kilowatts, I've made sixty dollars. And then it's one for one per kilowatt. So if I make two hundred extra kilowatts, then I can bank those kilowatts and put them towards the winter months. Plus I still get the six cents. I'll show you more about that as uh, as I do some updated power bills and I want to show you a power bill with a new production. I'll probably do that in October once I get a full month in in September. September is still a pretty good month to uh, get some good sun. After that it starts dropping off. Alright guys, so I want to thank you for uh, coming along with me on the journey here. I started work in May and I finished it up in uh, mid-August here. Today's August 19th and uh, very uh, grateful and thankful for my wife Gianna for her help and uh, support in this project. And, uh, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, big thumbs up is also appreciated and we'll catch you next time. All right.